Well, it's one of the largest data thefts in social networking history. Yeah, if you have a Facebook page, there's a one in five chance your personal profile is on the web for everyone to see tonight. Brian New joins us live with more on this story. Brian? Jeff, more than 100 million oh, no. profiles have been exposed, and here's how you can check to see if you are one of those who have been exposed. Now, just go to the Facebook search page, and Jeff, since we know that you have a Facebook page, we will type in your name, and if it comes up, and Jeff, it doesn't look like any of these are yours, but if your page does come up, then you can bet your personal information has already been published. These days, my mom just got one. It seems as if everyone has one. I haven't accepted her yet. <laughs> which puts nearly everyone at risk. Well, actually, my Facebook page was hacked last month. And now, just weeks after fixing that problem, 19 year old Chanel Gamboa has discovered another problem. So I thought that was like a once in a <laughs> social time, but. Unfortunately not. Gamboa's personal profile has been published online for the whole world to see. Hers along with 100 million others. But this time her page wasn't hacked. It was legally scanned and placed into a database. That database filled with phone numbers, addresses and birthdays is now available for anyone to download. Facebook has had a lot of security issues. It's the type of data computer expert Cody Truxell says can be used for identity theft, fraud, even to open credit cards under other other people's names. Security is not what people think about every day. But Truxel says more people should. Gamboa says she will because if it can happen twice, it can happen again. Now, computer experts say there's really nothing you can do to get your information off this database, but in the future, you can improve your odds of keeping your information private by double checking your Facebook privacy settings. Reporting live, Brian New, Kins 5, Eyewitness News. Good advice. Thanks, Brian.